Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Today, we are starting Pyre. This is not a game I know a lot about. It is a game that is very highly rated and highly reviewed. A lot of people have recommended it to me. Uh, this is made by Supergiant Games. That is the same company that made Hades, Bastion, and Transistor. So at the very least, we can probably safely guess that it's going to have some banging music. Uh, I am going into this almost blind. I've only seen the video on their Steam page, and I thought it looked good enough that here we are. And let's go. Campaign mode. Uh, choose a profile. New profile. Uh, new campaign. Uh, difficulty uh, standard. I am brand new to this. Let's see. Hurry text while enabled. You can hold space to rush story events. Uh, subtitle. Yeah, let's do subtitles so everybody can see if, uh, if they got bad ears. Uh, aim assist. No, I am not a console player. I do not need an aim assist. Commence. Uh, not sure how the volume is once we get into the game. I will adjust it if needed. We will see. Fire. I'm a catch I carry you. Do I need to hit a button? Oh, yeah, 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 I think you went to your goal, and you're going to your goal. I am maximum safe. Is this sport story based? Probably. Wobbly wagon. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Uh, downside is a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. Continue. Mmm, another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups. See, right on schedule, what I tell you. You told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone alive someday. Uh, just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. It seems he still is. Then stand aside. I shall send him to a better place. He's a he? Can you people just tell? Hang on. The markings on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him. He's beyond our help. And we are beyond his. Yeah. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that one there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the days grow dim. You have at best an hour. Pistos. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Oh, I, I thought they were bugs like Hollow Knight. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us. We're equal nothings here. You are parched, and he gives you drink. You ache, he binds your wounds. You hunger, he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. Bum life, thank you for the sub. There, turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin, now come on. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through the alabaster streets. Hedwin beckons you to enter the wagon. Step inside. eyes over there. The weather-beaten wagon is as much of a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creatures taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the clasps on her mask. You may call me Jadario. Wow. I'm reminded... What were they called? The, uh, in Dragon Age. The, the people with the horns, like Iron Bull, his race, I'm reminded of them right now. As for myself, the small one struggles with this mask. Jodari will soon assist him. Kunari, thank you. That's what I was trying to, that was the word. Ow! That is to say, you may regard me by the name Rookie Greentail. Such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you as you sidelong as she speaks. That is so. Can he do it? Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. What? Then what are we waiting for? Hey, a chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. Do you know how to read or what? He's asking if you're a reader. 
Um, literacy is a serious crime. No one in his right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Uh, let's see. They found me out here where criminals are, so they already know I'm a criminal, so... I'm gonna admit it. You confirm their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. Have a look. Rickety ladder. It likely leads to the wagon centrifuge, judging by the gibbering creatures up there. Old raiments, colorful robes and ceremonial mask adorn one of the wagon walls. Side door, beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get far. Strange book, one of several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. Interact to learn more. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. It's a gold claw book. Yeah, it's Gritlock and, uh, Rogan. Forward, a formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who write the Book of Rights. That you possess it and have a capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. I'll arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oh, I could have done this. Okay. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwind gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Kind of reminds me of when you would read an Elder Scroll in the Elder Scrolls. Like, it would wreck your character's mind when you would do that. Reader, like, burn into your vision. Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? Yes. So soon after your sentence into exile. Is that weird, Al? Tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights. The rights. The one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Hello, Shay. It works. Glory God. So it is true. Oh, man. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? He should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in him. He could abandon us. He won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond, as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. Now, I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as, Hes as Hedwin asked. So they've become like pieces on a board and we're looking down from above. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Use left click to approach the, the uh, celestial orb. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. The three must act as one. Only one exile can move at a time. Hold shift to sprint. Sprint until stamina is depleted. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb 
and be purified. Yes, the exiled Ruki has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished. Ruki is for banished for now. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. Use left click to approach the adversary. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Cast your Hold right click like to banish stone. adversaries from afar. afar. Correctly done. Banish the remaining adversary. Again. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. Once banished by auras, exiles soon Grasp return. Grasp the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the flame. Now I say jump. Press W leap to leap into the fire. With all strength. Not quite. Thus sails the orb into the waiting flame. What? Okay, Ruki is returned. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. The flames of freedom. Punishment for all. <laughs> Joe Dariel doused the adversary's flames. <laughs> the orb is loose. <laughs> all of the Beyonders gone. Into their fire. <laughs> this is such a weird, like, concept. There. I didn't realize that was going to, like, throw the ball to them. Banished both of them. The right okay. is complete. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back, cast down your hope. But all those such as you, you never listen. I wonder if that's the same voice actor as Kronos in Hades. It sounds like it could be. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> well, that was something. No, my, not us. That was our way out. <laughs> so now we just follow the stars, or what? <laughs> Supposedly. Reader, come, let us regard the night. Jadario leads you outside, where a clear night sky awaits. <laughs> now show us, before the howlers catch our scent, where shall the rites commence? You gaze at the stars, seek out your destination. Mm, 200 leagues due east, the ridge of gold. Concilia. 
Great, and we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodariel turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, chump. We're counting on you, friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights of the key. It's a lot to take in. Your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Join them. That little hop at the end. Downside Prairie. You arrive at Downside Prairie, where the fort road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you, we ought to take the northern pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to besides. Fie on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. And get stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way. We get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. You may now choose a route towards your goal at certain junctures. Weigh the options. Uh, I, I'm gonna appease the big lady. The southern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a humid area packed with hot springs. Jadariel thinks she can find rare flora here. Respectfully, yes, respectfully appease the big lady. Jodariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon, something catches her eye. Observe, this shall pay for half our trip. You found a black bloom. It is quite valuable. Journey onward. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gull. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Page reveal, the first exile. Uh, interact or press C anywhere to check inside. <laughs> Greentail family portrait, a reasonable likeness of a younger rookie with his mother and uncle. Uh, Jody's throw rug, fashioned from a howler's hide, sends their ilk a clear message. Jodariel says not to step on it, but it's a throw rug. Hedwin's cooking tins. What passes for cooking supplies on the downside? Hedwin does most of the cooking. The first exile. In the words of Gull Golathanian, the Master General. You know perhaps the thrice-cursed name of Salim Mur, the Emperor of Sar, the First Exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found in Salim Mur a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit. A man deserving of such, uh, much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the Eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. It's a throw rug, not a step rug. Okay, maybe I don't know what a throw rug is. I just heard rug. Uh, talk to Joe. Reader, Greentail here was just complaining on how you opted not to take us to Hollow Root. What? And violate our anti-second guessing pact? Nah, I was only saying how our chum's gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, you will just make sure we got something to pawn off at the next slug market we find. And we have. Now let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. Commence the rite. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The preparations are set. However, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. 
Keep telling you there's nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. If we traveled all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. The goal of each ride is to extinguish the adversary's pyre using the celestial orb that falls from the sky. Rida! The stars align at last! You reach the ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whosever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites commence. stars are aligned, your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others also clad in raiments. Everyone ready? Let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one who she refers to steps forward. At last, the night wings grace us with their presence. I see that the reports of your demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was... <coughs> Even I was sneezing. Even I was beginning to think that you were gone for good. Nobody moves save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. <laughs> Thank you guys. Surprised to see old Lindell again. I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Never had I come so close to freedom only for you to dash my hopes. Now I and the accusers shall repay that affront. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rites and focus on the task at hand. Begin! Poor Lendl. Banishment. Farewell, accusers. Have the accusers underestimated you? Tata Lendl. Almost cool. Banished one and all. Beauteous. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil in rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. I'd right click to fling the ore onto the fire. Lendl did to deserve his exile. Hmm? Hmm? A daring display. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh dang. The orb is up! Glorious! 
glory to the scribes. None left unscathed. Rookie doubt to the adversary's flames. Left. Now go on just once more. Zap. And it is done. Okay. You have prevailed! Luxana. Rejoice then in your single fleeting victory. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from this game, but playing football was not part of it. Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when next we meet, you will rue the day. Start ruing! Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. Mm, we have withstood worse Only nights the than this. So few as strange. Their freedom. Choose a mastery for Jodariel. Sins of the Fallen Emperor. Rites masteries enhancing a demon's strength and physical prowess. Or boons of the first exile, enhancing a demon's strength and force of will. After using Rush to lunge forward, Jody can rush again right away. After banishing an adversary, Jadariel instantly recovers all stamina. Uh, the demon scribe bestows his favor. Uh, okay. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon, in the night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Give me just a second here. Uh, ew, music down. Good evening. A little bit. Okay. If you could dodge an accuser, you could dodge a ball. <laughs> During the rites, hold right click to fling the orb. I couldn't read the rest of that too. Smart Donashe. Well, my ma my friends, what can I say? The rights are real, and we're in. The getting out of your club. Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free. Until we are free. Until we're free. Here, here. Sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lindell back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their business, Hedwin returns to you. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions? Come, ask away. We need you in this for the long haul. Why cannot conduct why can I not conduct the rites myself? You ask Hedwin why he and his companions did not invite you to participate in the rites firsthand and relied on your guidance. He maintains eye contact with his smile. Some terrace. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that and many other things. Make you a deal. Read the stars for us again, and I'll tell you all about it on the way. He's, uh, you sense he speaks truly as he beckons toward the fading dark above. Seek out your destination. Jomware, the Dusk Star. Scorpion with a rock on it? That's a long way north and west. We'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. Then he turns to the others. How's it going, Ruki? Imps fed, wheels clean. Status Jody. No sign of howlers, everything's secure. Good. Then let's get some rest. We're headed to the spring of Jomware. At dawn, we're off. Uh, what's up? You sense Jody's steel gaze well before you turn to her. Reader, rummaging about the wagon once again. Tell me something. Now that you are here, look at me. Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of me? That is not the emotion I am feeling. You consider the question. You have never before met someone like her, but you do know something of what happens to those who remain on the downside for many years. Uh... 
deny feeling afraid. You tell her that although you do not yet know each other well, you do not fear her, and on the contrary, feel safe in her presence.